Hello YouTube, this is What the Math, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking a look at another educational game called Soccer Bond. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Let's find out what this game brings. So this is the level selector right here. This is where you get to select various puzzle levels. And essentially it's a puzzle game that contains a lot of chemistry in it. So I'm gonna go right here. This is one of the levels I just unlocked. And here my job is to create water. But the way this works is that I have to actually bind these two atoms in a very specific manner. Actually, it's two molecules, and I have to bind them in a very specific manner to create the uh, uh, water molecule. I don't really know what to do here yet, actually. I've never tried this all. How do I... Oh, okay, so this is new. Ah, okay. So this is what it's telling me to do. I have to rotate this. No, no, come back. Come back here. Here we go. This is actually... Uh, this makes my bonds different. No, oh, no, hey, oxygen, come with me, come with me if you want to live, alright, it's not working, uh, but essentially here, every every level different, uh, every level is very different, in some levels you have to um, create very complex molecules, in some levels it's very simple atoms, um, but every time it involves some kind of a really advanced um, 2D thinking, and for the most part, the levels are pretty awesome, pretty fun, pretty challenging, and a lot of them actually do make you feel like you've, sat, uh, you've accomplished something new. It will make you feel very really satisfied. Um, now, there's also quite a lot of chemistry involved. And I'll show you what I mean by this once I beat this. This is actually hard. How do I... I don't know what to do. Help me. Help me! Oh, maybe I have to do this. Ah, there we go. I got it. I got it. It's so... This is actually really interesting. It's a good topic for a chemistry class. Uh, hydrogens have to first um, separate before they can bind with oxygen. Alright, so water, H2O, if you're careful, pure distilled water can be cooled as low as minus 48 degrees Celsius before it freezes. Now, there's, um, every time you beat the level, there's all these awesome chemical uh, hints or chemical tips. So basically, a little bit of um, knowledge of, about chemistry, about the element that you're creating. So this is this was water, and I beat it, finally. Okay, I believe this is, okay, this doesn't look like it's water, so let's try this. Uh, Alright, so this is, I believe it's going to be ammonia. And it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So first I have to take out my hydrogen from here. No, 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 no. Let me go. Let me, let me, let me go. Let, fine, don't let me go. This is going to be even harder. So to create ammonia, I have to take out those hydrogens first. And I have to combine them somehow. Did I, did I make a mistake? I think I made a mistake. I'm going to restart. I'm going to start from here. Uh, move this here. Come with me. Oh no, I'm stuck again. No, no, hurt me. Okay, that's not working either. Maybe if I do it this way. Yeah, that that should work. There we go. I did it. I did it. No, uh, it's not. No, <laughs> this is hard. This is so hard. But I love this game. This is actually one of the best puzzle games of the year, I would say, and definitely an amazing chemistry um, chemistry based game because it makes you think and also it teaches you a little bit of chemistry, teaches you more about bonds, teaches you more about how chemical elements work. That is if you can beat it because it's pretty difficult. Oh, there we go, I got it, finally. Oh, jeez, that one took forever. Ammonia, NH3. Nitrogen is necessary to create the basic building blocks of life. And essentially, this is how this game works. And there's quite a lot of a lot of levels. A lot of them are quite challenging, very different. And as you progress through levels, it gets more and more difficult, but you also learn more and more stuff about various elements that you create and various chemical compositions, various chemical reactions, and some awesome uh, chemical tips that you might have never never even heard of. Uh, so what is this going to be? I believe this is this might be actually hydrogen peroxide. And I need to make, um, I need to combine two oxygen molecules and two hydrogen molecules together to make one, mo um, one molecule. And basically here, I need to think outside of the box because to, um, oxygen can only bind uh, with, oh sorry, hydrogen can only bind with one molecule, whereas oxygen can bind with two. So I need to um, possibly do something crazy like this, and like this. Oh, no, not like this at all. Maybe more like this. And then, like... Nope, that's not gonna work. Is it? 
Okay, okay, now I can do the... Oh, no, I can't. I know I can do this. And possibly this. No, give it to me. Come with me. No, it doesn't want to come with me. Okay, I almost had it. I think maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have done this one first. Then do this one. And then... Just stay here forever. Because this... This is what I, all I get. And that's not even a real molecule. This is a... This is what we would call a radical. This is actually a good topic as well, because radical is very reactive oxygen-based elements. And these elements are usually responsible for the things like cancer and uh, destroying different atoms in our body. Alright, let's try this again. And there we go, I got it. Hydrogen peroxide, I was correct. Paper is naturally brownish. Hydrogen peroxide is one of the several chemical, uh, chemicals used to bleach it whiter. And essentially this is what the game is like in a nutshell. It's very challenging, it's super fun, and it teaches you quite a lot about chemistry. Uh, so some of the more advanced levels deal with um, a lot of organic components, so it actually gets even more complicated than this. But overall this is such an excellent, excellent a game for inquiry-based learning because it encourages students to essentially explore chemistry in their own, own terms while playing this relatively awesome uh, puzzle game that teaches them a lot about different bonds for different elements. Now, uh, it starts pretty easy, it starts with only hydrogen and oxygen, then it adds ammonia and as, as you progress the level you get uh, more complex uh, atoms that are added to your repertoire and eventually you'll be dealing with some really really complex puzzles, really complex molecules. Overall, I definitely recommend this game to any teacher that's, uh, that wants to explore chemistry and uh, game-based learning and um, any other person that is just interested in chemistry and puzzles. Thank you for watching. This, is, this has been What the Math with this awesome game called... With this awesome game called Soccer Bond. Definitely tr give it a try. It's available um, pretty cheap on Steam and I'm posting the link for this game below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And good luck to you. Bye-bye.